Here's a very typical but very pleasant Saturday night for me. But this is no ordinary weekend because, in a matter of hours, I'll be on my way to the airport. These little legs, well actually, this plane, is taking me all the way to the Mediterranean island of Malta, just south of the Italian island of Sicily, see? From the port of Valletta, I'll be joining the most luxurious cruise ship ever built. Literally, that's what they call it. The Regent Seven Seas Explorer is famously the most luxurious cruise ship in the world and has even had its own TV show. Welcome to Channel 5. So now that I'm just seconds away from walking onto the ship for the very first time, I confess I was a tad excited. Regent Cruise's largest ship, the Explorer, was built in 2015 and debuted in 2016. I'm finally on board and here's my stateroom. I can't wait to go and see it. Okay, I lied. I have been in here before, so that's my backpack there. But otherwise, look. Isn't it so beautiful? I love it. That looks so comfy, that bed. I can't wait to get in it because I have my show tonight. Anyway, ignore the backpack. A bottle of champagne. Some fruit. And uh, like a, uh, a, a, a makeup getting ready kitchen. <laughs> All in one. <laughs> and a balcony. So I'm so excited because I've only ever had one balcony before. I'm gonna make the most of that, but here's my room. I'm a guest entertainer, so it's not like I wasn't expecting a suite, but this is this is really a suite. Very happy. So now I'm comfy in my stateroom, and after a decent nap, I had a quick bite to eat before we started sailing away from Malta. It was time to start getting ready for my rehearsal with the band. So let me take you behind the scenes and give you a quick preview of the show. The band were fantastic and did a superb job of playing my show. The rehearsal took around an hour and 15 minutes, which is fairly typical, and then it was time to start getting the theatre ready, open the doors to the public, and finally I could start getting myself ready for showtime. The guests on board have a good idea of what they're coming to see because I have a section of the Daily Magazine dedicated to me and, well, this show. everybody. After the show, I normally like to get out into the bars and greet the guests. Then take a quick stroll around the ship, have a late night snack, and try to wind down and get some sleep. The first few days on board were pretty busy for me. I performed my Bond show in the lounge bar, and then performed again on the pool deck with some of the cast singers, which was fun. After that though, I could relax a little, and yes, I did have a dip in that pool. And I'm especially partial to a session in the hot tub. Anyway, after a strenuous day of not very much, I decided to take myself off to main dining. I 
allergic to strawberries. It tastes like Christmas. Although it was only a short contract, we did visit some beautiful ports, so I got to see Kusadasi again. I didn't buy a suit this time. I wish I did. Anyway, there were plenty of extremely reasonably priced restaurants with views of the ships that were docked, so you could make sure you didn't miss all aboard time. And for the first time, I was able to see a little bit of Istanbul, where there's a fantastic and modern village of restaurants with a sea view and lots of fancy shopping. Great fun. My five nights on board the most luxurious cruise ship ever built are coming to a close, and it's now my last night on board. I actually ended up performing in some capacity on each night, and tonight was no exception. I sang on the pool deck with the band, and then after a drink in the observation lounge, I got up and sang a couple of standards with this fantastic lounge performer. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's great to work with the band one more time before I got off the ship. But uh, it's sad because uh, I've really enjoyed this cruise ship and the experience and the people. My wife, Crystal, and I were talking yesterday about the definition of luxury. And I really think it's kind of mostly down to the service. The service has been incredible and the people on board, even the guests, you know, just lovely, absolutely beautiful people. But it's time to just get an an hour or so shut eye because I have a 3 a.m. pickup to get home back to London to do a gig tomorrow night. I'm gonna miss the ship. It is kind of sad. Thank you very much to everybody involved in getting me here on board and everyone in, involved in the shows. Lots of successful performances. Just gone down a storm and I just couldn't have asked for it to have gone any better. So, very happy and can't wait to come back. Hey, what a beautiful ship. I just met Dimi. 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 Yeah. What's up? You're in my video now. Aww, that's so nice. Uh, uh, so he was a... To be part of this. Amazing events. What was your role on? What did you do on the ship? Believe it or not, I was driving the ship. I mean, the first navigation officer. Wow, where are we going now? Home. <laughs> no, we're going into a barrier. Yeah, yeah, but I thought you were a navigation um, officer. Not on land. <laughs> he nearly made me crash. <laughs> <laughs>